Well, thank you, Secretary Shulkin. Thank you for that uh, very gracious introduction. And more importantly, thank you for your outstanding leadership here at the Department of Veterans Affairs. The American people and our president and our entire administration are grateful for your dedication to our veterans. I want to thank all of you for being here today, but especially I want to thank the members of the United States Senate and the Congress who are with us, and particularly the chairman of the Senate of Veterans Affairs Committee, Senator Johnny Isaacson, uh, and Congressman Phil Rowe, the chairman of the House Committee on Veterans Affairs. It is accurate to say in the Congress of the United States, support for our veterans is a truly unifying and bipartisan cause. And join me in thanking all of these members for their work for our veterans. Most of all, thank you to the veterans who are with us today, to their spouses and, and to all those who are here to honor them. Now, this is an important moment in the life of the VA and in the life of this nation. We owe a debt of gratitude to those who served in uniform that we can never fully repay. But today you'll see in our president's actions one more installment in that debt that we will never be able to repay for those who have paid the sacrifice of wearing the uniform. And the American people are proud and grateful for it. You know, David mentioned it a moment ago, I, I, my life did not take me on a pathway to wear the uniform of the United States, but I'm the son of a soldier and I'm the proud father of a United States Marine. And I can't tell you, it is the greatest privilege of my life to serve as vice president to a president who cares so deeply about our military and about the men and women who've worn the uniform of the United States. From the outset of this administration, uh, President Donald Trump has been hard at work to keep his promise to rebuild our military, to restore the arsenal of democracy, and to ensure that those who were part of the greatest military on earth have access to world-class health care. Not long ago, the president signed into law uh, uh, the Veterans Choice Program Extension and Improvement Act, moved forward by the members of Congress who are with us today to empower veterans to get the care that's right for them. In nearly 100 days, the American people have seen a level of energetic leadership it's made a difference. More than 500,000 jobs created, a record number of bills signed, more since 1947. But I can tell you, knowing him well and serving with him closely, that the legislation the president is proudest of and the progress that he's most anxious to see has been the progress for our veterans. And we'll make one more installment today with a stroke of the pen. The president will take another crucial step to providing our nation's heroes with access to real-time, world-class health care. And so I say with gratitude for his boundless energy, for his commitment to those who serve and those who have served our nation in uniform. It is my high honor and distinct privilege to introduce to you my friend and a friend to every veteran in America, the President of the United States, President Donald Trump. Thank you very much. And Mike, you've been so magnificent as our Vice President, and we very much appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'm pleased to be here, and we're joined by so many members of Congress. It's been uh, really a fantastic period of time for me, and uh, I'm honored also to be at the Department of Veteran Affairs, because I will tell you, this has been something right from the beginning of the campaign does not get any more important for me than making life really great for our phenomenal veterans, that I can say. So we're sharing a stage with a lot of great people and a lot of great friends. A couple of my friends are out in the audience today. Ike Perlmutter, Lori Perlmutter. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? These are incredible people, incredibly successful people, and they just 
have an affinity for helping the veterans and for helping David. And I want to thank them. Unbelievable. Thank you. Dr. Moskowitz also. And we're going to protect those who protect, and we are going to protect the people that are protecting us. First of all, Secretary Shulkin, and I call him the 100 to nothing man, because in a totally obstructionist group of Democrats, we say that with affection, <laughs> he got not only the Republicans, but he got all of the Democrat votes, and he won at a 100 to nothing clip. So I guess, boy, do they know. I hope they're right, you know. I hope they're right about you. But David's doing a phenomenal job. He was voted unanimously out of the United States Senate. And he's worked ever since then, day and night, to reform and improve the VA. I'm also pleased that we're joined by so many members of Congress. We have with us Senators Ernst. Where's Joni Ernst? Where's Joni? What a tremendous woman. And right from the beginning, she has been. And she knows more about veterans than anybody. Thanks, Joni. We really appreciate it. Senator Isaacson. Moran. Thank you, Senator. Thank you very much. <laughs> Senator Moran and Senator Tester. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Along with Congressman Arrington, Bergman, Bridenstine, Dent, Rowe, and Winstrup, I look forward to serving our veterans with all of you. And I can tell you, this group, whether they're Democrat or Republican, they're here to help, and we're going to help, and we're going to make this so good. It's going to be one of our crown jewels, and it's happening already. As part of that process, Secretary Shulkin has carried out a th really thorough review and he had some very inside understanding of the VA, because he's been here. But a thorough review of the VA to uncover all of the problems and challenges that we inherited, of which there are so many. Based on those findings, we're putting plans into place to fix those problems and give our veterans the health care they need and the health care they deserve. And they were so for me during this recent election. And I can promise them, and they know it's going to happen, we're not going to let them down. We have a team the likes of which has never, ever been assembled. And that includes outside people who are so brilliant and so good, like Ike and Lori. And they're helping us, and they don't fail. Much work lies ahead. But we will not rest until this job is totally done. During these first 100 days, which, as you know, I've been saying, there's a very extreme emphasis placed on these 100 days, Joni. It's not quite as big as they're saying, but we have really laid a foundation. We've had a lot of legislation passed, which nobody understands. I think it's 28 bills as of this moment. Somebody said by the time it ends, it's 32 bills and tremendous legislation. But we've already made huge strides to improve the VA and the VA services. We've imposed new standards of accountability and transparency, including a new website that publishes wait times at every VA hospital. And this is a website that works. This is not the $5 billion Obamacare website. Do we remember that? Nobody remembers that. Does anybody remember the $5 billion website? No. I don't think so. We don't have to remember it anymore. We've implemented same-day mental health services at all 168 VA medical centers so that the veterans in crisis can find help at the VA without any delay. Last week, I signed the Veterans Choice Improvement Act. Very proud of that so that more veterans can see the doctor of their choice and don't have to travel long distances or wait forever for VA care. They were waiting on lines for seven days, eight days, nine days, two weeks. Some instances were horrible. They were waiting so long. They had a very curable problem. 
and they die before they got to see the doctor. It's not going to happen any longer. Already this year, using the CHOICE program, veterans have received 42 percent more approvals to see the doctor of their choosing. But that's just the very beginning of what we have planned. So much more is coming. Today, we're taking another bold step forward. I'm signing an executive order to create an Office of Accountability and Whistleblower Protection at the Department of Veterans Affairs. This executive order makes it clear that we will never, ever tolerate substandard care for our great veterans. With the creation of this office, we are sending a strong message. Those who fail our veterans will be held, for the first time, accountable. At the same time, we will reward and retain the many VA employees who do a fantastic job, of which we have many. And I will tell you, some of the doctors in the VA, I've heard it from so many people, they're the finest in the world. These are great, great people. We have to get our vets to those doctors. But we have some of the finest doctors in the world. We have also some of the most honest employees, and some of them expose wrongdoing. And we will make sure that they're protected. We're also calling on the Senate to pass legislation to give the Secretary the authority he needs to ensure all VA employees are held accountable for how they treat our veterans. Today's action is historic, but it is only the start of our reforms. Our veterans have secured this nation with their blood, sweat, and tears, and we will not let them down. These are our great, great people. We will always stand with those who stood for freedom and who stood for us. They've protected us. They've made it all possible. And now we're going to protect and take care of them. So I'd like to thank David and his family and all of the people that are working so hard at the VA. They haven't had enthusiasm, David was just telling me like this, for many, many years. And the veterans see what's happening, because I'm getting so many different messages through all forms of communication, of which we now have many. But they're very, very happy, very pleased with what's going on. So, David, we want to God bless you and your family. We want to wish you a lot of luck. You have a lot of talent, but you have a big job ahead. I want to wish everybody Godspeed, and we will do a fantastic job at the VA, rest assured. Thank you very much, and we're going to sign right now. Thank you very much. Thank you. I come over here, I can roll. Please. They may not let you through for security purposes, but I'm not worried with you. I <laughs> they give like the pen, I think. You know, really good. Good. So this is improving accountability at the VA. Such important steps are being taken. Hi, Lloyd. Thank you very much.